Rum bum puddlum bum bum puddlum puddle. Hello, it's Talmage here, and I'm uh, playing mission four of the Checker Tales Across the Meds campaign. Let's see what we have in store today. 18th of December 1942. One week until Christmas, and the boys are already thinking about Turkey with all the trimmings. It's a pity the Germans are not in the festive spirit. They continue to annoy us here. But at least our inf infantry are making slow but sure progress fighting over very rough terrain. We have had plenty of opportunity to study the new German fighter plane, the Focke-Wulf 190. It seems to outperform our P-40s in every area, and these Nazi pilots seem to prefer slashing attacks from up high and then zooming out of reach before we know what's hit us. The rumour is that for every one 190 shot down, we lose three P-40s. I say it's a good job there's always a fourth P-40. <laughs> Today, Corkin Cochrane and his Joker Squadron, as we in the 58th FS like to be known, are playing Nanny to B-17s attacking port facilities at Sector G-5. Once the heavies have turned for home, Corkin wants us to hit the deck and look for trouble. If it moves, shoot it. If it doesn't move, shoot it! Take off at 9.45, circle at Sector E-6 and wait for the bombers. The Bosch reminds us to climb fast after takeoff. If we get caught low and slow, the one nighters will think Christmas has come a week early. So, escort duty, and then after that, looking for targets of opportunity on the ground. One thing I forgot to see last episode, which I need to do this episode, is to reveal the name of my pilot. Um, somebody in the first video put a comment, and I like the name and the comment, so I'll um, just do a quick cut and uh, show the comment here. Chip Fiskowitz, perhaps? His mother, a French Jew, fled Europe in 1917 after falling pregnant to an unknown Allied pilot. <clears throat> Chip often asked about his father, however his mother would only say he was a dashing, mysterious man who loved to fly. And there we go. So the name is Chip Fiskowitz, a uh, strange and illegitimate love child of Fishington Chip, the uh, Sopwith Camel. Pilot. So there we go. He kind of uh, I like I like the backstory. It links the the uh, careers together. So that's good. Um, so I was born in 1917. So what would that make me now? So 1917, 27, 37, uh, 38, 39, 39, 40, 41, 42. I'll be 25, which kind of works out, I suppose. Um, yeah. So there we go. Um, I've also had a challenge. Well, I'll talk about the challenge when I get into the flying. Let's uh, get on with it and fly. Alright, here we are. Uh, my six degrees of freedom is not working for some reason. Hold on. Uh, I guess I've probably got... Hold on. There we go. I was in co uh, cockpit view or gun sight view. Okay, so here I am. It's weird. Oh, there we go. Let's press the wrong button. Fighters? Where? Hopefully that's not near me. Um, okay, well, I guess we better take off. Just in case there are fighters. Maybe it's those 190s. Okay, I see. Uh, but yeah, the challenge I had was from the pilot forever in the comments, and he wanted me to just use the um, iron sight rather than the main gun sight. I said, yeah, okay, why not? So I'm going to give that a go. Okay, taking off, gear up. Somebody's thoughtfully left some dugouts or something in the middle of the runway. And we are away. Uh, where's my first? Oh god, okay, yes. We have F-190s in the area. And there's one right behind me. Need to take evasive action. Whoa, whoa, no, I've stalled. Okay, here we go. <laughs> nice. Well, luckily this isn't a uh, hardcore Iron Man style campaign, so we can just refly that. Um, I got scared and um, my evasive action was too evasive and I stalled and died. Oh well. Um, okay, so let me uh, start this again. Okay. 
Here we are again. Now this time we know we need to take off quickly. I think what I'll do is order my wingman to cover me as well, just from the get-go. Okay, let's get going. So we already have some P-40s in the air to kind of cover us. We obviously the 190s want to take out those guys on the ground or near the ground because we're easy targets. So my first real air combat is about to commence in this plane. Yep, okay, so let's go uh, red flight, attack fighters, ringman, cover me. So hopefully as soon as they take off they will uh, begin uh, trying to fight back. Might be a bit difficult to escort these B-17s if we're having to defend ourselves from incoming F-190s, FW-190s straight away. I'm going to try and cover my guys here on the ground. Okay. Uh, I. Ah, oops, wrong person. Um, oh god, I need to be using the iron sights. This is not going to be easy. Uh, here's one. I can't get down enough to uh, actually use the iron. Oh god, look at that guy. Can't seem to get my head low. Yeah, I'm out of the range of the truck IR. So. Uh, not quite low down enough to get the proper use of the iron sight and this F1 one like is gonna, just going to fly away from me. I have a guy on my tail here so I'll try and turn around and face him instead. Or avoid him. Ah, you missed! So just two of them left nearby. I think that's my wingman behind me. Oh boy, here we go. Oh god. I need to get used to this... plane. Shit! Can't break out the stall. Oh God. Oh. Okay. Well, I seem to be stalling this plane very easily. I think I need to be gentler when I'm trying to avoid being shot to death. Hmm. Okay. Well, take three. three. Right. Um. So I'm going to um, give up the iron, iron uh, sight challenge, I'm afraid. That's over with. I just need to try and survive. The problem I have, I have is that um, I don't get a lot of practice flying these planes in between doing actual recording. So any time I really get to work out how they fly and what the limits are is when I thrust into the action. Which is not ideal. But obviously I'm just being too rough. Um, okay, let's see how we go this time. Remember to open the radiator, it's important. Briefing said to climb quickly, so I'm going to try and doing that instead. But they obviously already have a speed and altitude advantage on me. Let's see, are they coming in? No, looks like they're holding off for now. Oh, hello. 
Oh shit. Whoa. Hello. Can I get off a few shots at this guy? I can, but not very effectively. Oh god. Oh fuck. <laughs> Okay, well, it's going to be one of those missions. Um, this is where it starts to get embarrassing. And I get comments saying, oh, what are you doing? You know, you didn't know how to fly a P-14. Yeah, I know, I know I don't. I know I'm crap. That's the charm, supposedly. Alright, let's try again. It's annoying when the uh, um, mission or the campaign puts you in, in a um, position of disadvantage and then kind of expects you to get out of it. I suppose it, you know, it's a challenge, but so early on in the campaign, it's a little bit annoying. Okay, maybe we should just try and stay out of trouble rather than, although I was kind of trying to do that before. So he didn't work. Okay. So let's just climb. Try and get a little bit of altitude. Get my wing body to cover me again. Even though it's probably not taken off yet. Uh, maybe we should say, hey ground Hey ground control, we need help. Oh. No fighters, oh well. Is that somebody behind me? I hope not. Oh god, there goes number two. There's my wingman gone. So much for the cover. Uh, rev flight. Okay. Now number three is under attack. Sounds like there's somebody right behind me, but I'm not sure if that's is. I think it might just be these guys. Okay, here we go. This is promising. Yeah, no, not enough power to maintain the rate of climb. So we've got one left. Oh, good. There's, there's one going down. This looks a bit better. Oh, hello. How are you? Can I get some shots off of this guy? Quite hard to see the traces against the backdrop of the, uh, the clouds. Oh great, now three's in trouble. Oh, I'm sorry, three, I was too... too far behind to help. Maybe I can avenge you though. It's pulling up. Uh, come on. Yes, some hits. Not enough, though. Is there anyone behind me? I don't think so. The engine's overheating. Come on, he's flying straight and level. Let's get him. He's leaking something. Oh, he's gone into a spin. If he can get out of his spins, a lot easier than I can. Come on. It should be easy. Another couple of hits. That was a P40 passing me. Shh. 
shit. King Hell! Come on! There we go, that's better. Oh, that was stupid. Yes! You're on fire! You are on fire, finally. Open the radiator. Lower the pitch. I would bail out now if I were you. Yeah, there we go, he's just bailed out. Let's see, there he is. My first kill in the P40. I got there eventually. Okay, everybody. Uh, red flight. Tactical rejoin. Now we need to actually get on with our mission. I don't know how much ammo I've got left. Or where the B-17s are. Enough here. We need to be about, about well, we need to, looks like, to about six Heading and a half thousand one, feet. Eight, zero. I think we're supposed to be circling around here waiting for the B-17s, but um, I don't know where they are. Let's see if we can find them. Maybe there aren't any. That's weird. I thought they'd be showing up, um, but they're not on the uh, friendly views. It's just P40s. This guy there with a lot of winged uh, rudder damage. I think he might be right behind me. Well, there aren't any B-17s it seems, so I guess the secondary mission is to head out and try and attack things on the ground. I suppose we'll do that instead. How strange. I appear to be undamaged. I don't think I was shot at too much that time. Um, okay, well, I'll cut here then as I journey out uh, eastwards uh, to search for some ground targets. Okay, so this is the port which the non existent B 17s were supposed to bomb. A lot of flat going on. We're not going to going to um, attack the port itself because I don't think there's much I can destroy down there with my puny machine guns. What I ideally need to look out for are any uh, convoys or cars and trucks and things. I, mean, I guess there could be some down there, but there's a lot of flak and anti-air, so I prefer to avoid it. We haven't found the B-17s. We did manage to find. Oh, here they are. They spawned in. Okay then. They were just late to the party, I suppose. Well, I guess we'd better do our jobs and escort them. Um, Kind of cheating this place using the external views to find them, but um, I had no idea they were there otherwise. I suppose I should be more patient in waiting for them to turn up. I think that's flat. They shouldn't have too much of a problem. I don't think there are any other enemy fighters around, although they may appear. Um, I was going to say we also found some um, A20s flying around who had French. We spoke French on the radio, so I'm assuming they're free French. They were allied, so they're not uh, Vichy France. But at least we get to watch these guys drop their eggs on the ground. That should be fun. Oh Christ. 
Oh shit, okay, this is not good. We're not high enough. They're above us. Oh god. We've got Italians. Heading zero nine zero. Crap. We have failed in our escort duties. Maybe they'll attack us instead of the bombers. Uh, looking like they won't. Oh crap. Two Italian fighters. Ah, that's what you get. B-17 number four got one. We're doing the old AI attack the bombers right from behind trick. Which, as I found, is not particularly effective. Although this guy seems to be doing okay. Trying to climb up as quickly as I can and catch them up. It's not easy. My engine's going to start overheating pretty soon. I'm sorry, guys. It's my fault. I didn't know you were you were turning up. You were late. Uh, so that's the loud French guys I was mentioning earlier. Warming something. And there we go, engine overheat. All the B-17 seems to be intact so far. Oh, is that the, uh, that's the flak. I thought they we were going to bomb back there, but maybe not. Maybe they've already released the bombs, I don't know. I need to get this uh, guy, though, this Italian. He's diving down, which is good, gives me an opportunity. been shot down. He's uh, dropping down pretty rapidly. Maybe. Uh, it's in the clouds now. Yeah, I think he got shot down. Good stuff. So where are we? Have you guys dropped your load? I assume you have. I've gone past the port. We're heading off the map, so I think it's time to uh, finish the escort portion of the uh, mission, which um, I didn't do too well at, but never mind. They managed all by themselves. They didn't need me. And uh, now it's time for the ground attack section. Hopefully I don't die and have to redo this all over again. That would be bad. If there's something along this road we can attack. There is! Hello! Okay, let's uh, red flight, ground targets, attack vehicles. Here we go, we can add to our vehicle tally. Where'd they go? Have I flown? Are they underneath me? Maybe they are. Yes, I think they... Yes, there they are, down there. Okie dokie. I'd like to take out that half-track which is shooting at me right now. There he is. So that's going to be my first target. Trying not to stall. Now 
There he is. Uh, hopefully I can get him before he gets me. Do I get Not quite good enough. Missed. Missed. Got him! Got you, little, little fucker. Now your convoy of trucks are at my mercy. Where are my wingmen? Way above me. Okay, well, that's fine. Leave them all to me. I don't mind. Nothing else around to shoot at. Okay, let's uh, fly out a bit and then turn around, coming for another run. Yeah, these planes aren't very good at turning, I don't think. Uh, not really lined up properly, but never mind. Okay, here we go, it's better. There's one. Yeah. I think I really do need to uh, get a set of rudder pedals. The stick twist rudder is not ideal for this. Really hard to aim. I don't know what my guys are doing all the way up there. This red flight, ground targets, tight vehicles. Let's try that again. Uh, but yes, it's very difficult to aim with the stick rudder, I have found. So I guess one of the pedals will be on the horizon when I can scrape, um, scrape up enough cash to afford them. I'd really like to get those expensive um, ones that are kind of modelled after the 109 I think, or, or at least the Messerschmitt with the, with the pedals. They would be nice. I think they're about £260, which is a, quite a lot of money. We shall see! I guess I might as well mention now that if you would like to support me financially in my video making endeavours then you can do using my Patreon campaign page, the link is in the description of the video. Um, I don't want uh, donations, you know, don't uh, think you have to, don't think I'm a charity, it's more like a subscription I suppose. Uh, helps to pay for the costs of the equipment. Um, and the time doing the videos. Sometimes I like to make more videos but I have a lot of work to do over time, things like that. So it helps to uh, be able to afford to you know, not have to do so much over time I suppose. So much real work. But yeah it's there if you like. Obviously no um, obligations. I don't want to give me that back. It's completely up to you. I don't, I don't want to let it go. I have I think I only got one that time. I don't know what my guys are doing there. Uh, let's try red flight. Uh, tactical. Rejoin. See if they come down and join me. But I think with this whole strafing thing, I need to be coming in at a steep angle from above. Gives me more time to aim and fire than coming in more level. So we'll do that instead. Okay, here we go. I guess if we slow down as well, then it'll give me more time to shoot. Rudder again. There we go, there's one. Just three more left, and then we can go home. 
Where are my friends? Are they, uh... Can't even see where they are at all now, okay. Well, I can hear something, I can hear a plane, I think. Must be imagining it. Alright, so now they're going to be turning this corner here to go on this completely unnecessary kind of V-shaped uh, detour. So sort of come at them from the side. Yes! Yes! Was that all of them? I think there's one... No, I think they're all, de they're all dead. They're all destroyed. The convoy is kaput! Um, and that's that. So there's no other vehicles there. We've destroyed everything. It's time, I think, to head for home. Can't see anything else on the road. So, assuming we uh, get home in one piece, this will be a uh, will, will have been a good mission actually. After all that, there's the port. Can't see any damage from here. Maybe if we get close, we might be able to see if uh, there's any bomb damage. I don't see anything burning. Oh well. I'm going to head away from there because of all the anti-aircraft. And uh, let's head for home. So I'll cut here and I'll come back when it's time to land or if we spot anything else interesting. Alright. So here we are approaching the airfield. My fuel light has come on so it's time to land. Let's tell my flight to... Navigation... Return to base. What's this uh, Q technical? Start engines, aborting mission. Okay, fair enough. Don't need those. So there is the runway. There is one of my friends down there who's already landed. Mission complete! I know! I completed it. Okay, so I'm going to come in from the opposite direction, the one we took off in. Ground control, request, whoops, wrong button. Ground control, request for landing. You are clear for landing. Thank you. Heading 060. Good luck. Okie dokie. So, I need to um, work a little bit on my landings. I need to do what somebody in the comments called. Uh, uh, flaring up at the last moment, so you do a three-point landing, reduces the uh, possibility of bouncing along, possibly damaging the aircraft, so I'm going to try and to attempt that on this landing. Flaps down, gear down, nicely lined up. Uh, let's do it! Okay, try and keep the nose kind of level as we descend. Going down about half a... Uh, uh, I don't know what that scale is, I guess it's maybe 10 feet? I don't know, 100 feet probably. Okay, here we go. Flaring. Still not slow enough. Flaring! Oh god! <laughs> okay, that didn't really work. Although, I am okay. The wing did not receive damage. We are fine. We're good. Hello! I killed a man today. Well, I didn't kill a man. I killed his plane and he bailed out. I may have killed a few people in those vehicles though, I guess. 
So yeah, I probably killed quite a few people. But they were German, and the Germans are bad, so that's all right. Reaching off, and uh, we're good. Fantastic. So it took me a few goes to get off the ground, really, but um, managed just in the end. Here are my friends in the air. There's the B-17s. My favourite plane when I was a child. Just look at that ball turret. Mm. And these are the A-20s. Somebody helpfully commented on in the previous video and told me what they were, so thank you for that. Oh god, this guy's in trouble. Uh, and there are no enemy planes left in the sky, which is how we like it. Good! Quick mission. One enemy aircraft kill. We now have 21 enemy ground kills. I have an award. I have won the air medal. Thank you. Fantastic. So that was that. That was mission number four of the checker tails across the med. Onwards to mission number five. Thanks for watching and I'll see you then. Goodbye.